Hello and welcome to Practical DevOps Security Course. My name is Gurpreet Sachdeva and I would be your companion on this awesome journey to secure applications using DevOps practices. Before we deep dive into the course contents, I would like to take a few moments to introduce myself. I promise it won't be long. I have rich experience in enterprise computing and communication software development. For the last six years, I have been working in cloud computing, DevOps, and secure DevOps. I'm a keen Java enthusiast and a co-founder of Delhi and CR Java User Group. I blog regularly on topics of interest and have also written a book on Elastic Stack. Feel free to reach out to me at gsachdeva, which is my Twitter handle. During this course, I will be using my DevOps and security experience to provide you learning material that are comprehensive but also easy to understand. This course, produced by Pack Publishing, is designed to be applicable for a wide range of people like system administrators, security consultants, DevOps engineers, and cloud security strategists. This course is useful for all those who want to secure their software by applying DevOps principles. A basic understanding of DevOps and programming skills is desirable. We will kick things off with giving an overview of how to manage security risks in this rapidly changing world with the help of web application. In the second section, we will shift gears and move from theory to practice. This section will showcase what kind of tools and techniques can be used to perform security checks throughout the CI-CD pipeline on a sample web application. In the third section, you will see how proper planning is quite crucial to address security requirements. The fourth section demonstrates a combination of static and dynamic application security tools for verification of web application. In the fifth section, you would see how to automate software deployment process by using infrastructure as a code techniques. In the final section, we will demonstrate how continuous monitoring should be done to check for any irregular behavior in production.